Headed by a journeyman named Willie Wise. And Chavez is not ranked in the top 10 by any other major sanctioning body. Now, WBC President Jose Suleiman justifies Chavez's ranking by pointing out his legendary status among Mexican fans and his continuing box office appeal. That Chavez deserves to go out with honor and dignity. But, Bobby, is he taking Chavez's health and well-being into account? I don't know that he's taking his health and well-being into account, but clearly it does suggest that the WBC has an agenda. Their agenda for this fight is to give Julio Cesar Chavez something that he might not rightfully deserve. Again, a top 10 ranking, I have no problem. Fighting for this title, I have no problem. Being number one mandatory, I'm sorry, it's borderline criminal. All right, for more on this debate, let's check in with our roving reporter, Jim Gray. Jim? All right, thank you very much, Steve. I am now joined by the WBC president, Jose Suleiman. Jose, let me ask you. Julio Cesar Chavez has not fight in this weight class in more than two years. He's lost two of his last five fights. He's not ranked by any other organization, yet you have made him the mandatory number one challenger. How can this be possible? Julio Cesar Chavez is a super lightweight. He has never been a welterweight. He only went up to fight Oscar de la Hoya because that's his weight. But his authentic weight is super lightweight. He made it even three weeks before the fight today. But when people look and point to corruption and everything that is wrong with boxing, don't you agree that they point to instances like this? This is not corruption. This is justice. Why not? Because this is justice. We are fighting for justice. If you allow, if you allow Foreman, uh, uh, Thomas Harris, Leonard, uh, where was Julio Cesar Chavez no, no, traded with injustice because well, me, where's the let injustice here? Let me finish. Okay. The injustice is that it seems that they have picked Chavez only because he's a Mexican, not to have the right to fight for the title. He will show tonight that he has the right to the title. Well, you he hasn't are, fought in the division you, you in two not, years. You are, not, you are not asking these questions to the people about the fights when uh, when the George Foreman, Larry Holmes, Leonard, Tommy Hearns, Duran has fought. Why have you picked Chavez? A lot of people, Jose, That's are talking about, a lot of people are talking about tonight the health and the well-being of Julio Cesar Chavez based on his last performance against Willie Wise when he quite honestly looked just awful. What responsibility will you and your organization take if something unfortunate should occur? Boxing is boxing. Anything can happen to anybody. We have put Julio Cesar Chavez and Costa Tichu to the most thorough medical examinations. Both have passed them. Sue is a great champion, and Chavez has been one of the greatest of all time. I'm very. Is that covered. why you got the fight because of his past and nothing to do with no, the future? No, no. He still is one of the very best in the world. And if you can contend that he's not number one, nobody can compare with some sense of responsibility that he's not one of the best ten of the world. Well, he was and one of the Bruce, best. Jose, we appreciate it. We got some boxing to do tonight, but I think a lot of people would have a lot of. A lot to contend with your statement. Thank you for your time. I, we'll I talk to sure you after the fight. After the fight, somebody will be very proud and some others will be the environment. Maybe it'll be I, you. I hope that I will not be. All right, Steve, over to you. Thank you, Jim. Well, 